Hey YouTube, it's Brad Phelps. Look at this, we got the Atlas 6x6. Amazing scaled, detailed, 6x6. Ultra, super detailed, squishy. Looks like they're branded tires. Got differentials here. One to 104 ratio on the transmission, which is awesome. It is through a brushed motor, unfortunately. But what we've got here is a six wheel drive beauty that is in 1 18th scale. This little thing opens. We got nice 2.7 K light. We've got red brake lights. They do not work with brakes, by the way, but there is reverse and forward. The thing is slow, which is what you want from a crawler magnetically attached front end there. 600 milliamp hour 2S. Everything is included except for the four triple A's on the transmitter. So we're gonna get right to it. In the tall grass, we're just gonna show you that it does it. I'm going slow, it's about 10% on the throttle. This grass could have probably been cut before this, but as you can see, that thing has no problem in the grass. Going really slow, just seeing if we can get you some extra detail. We're gonna to try to go out on the bridge here, on the nature walk here on Brian Phillips RC. Going as slow as I can get this controller to respond. We're gonna see if we can crawl up there. Yes, we did it. Love the way this thing looks. There are trims for throttle and for steering. There's also a three, uh, third channel button. I'm not sure if there's actually a plug-in for it but there's definitely a button that says channel three. Thing is very easy to drive, which is not unexpected from FMS. They do really good controls. Definitely proportional control. I can move that steering wheel and it goes all the way to one side. It goes proportionally to the other side. So if you're turning, it's not like it's gonna lock all the way. You've got real full proportional control. The transmitter is small, so you can definitely reach with your thumb if you're into that sort of thing. I don't usually do one-handed driving, I use two hands. But the thing is super capable for being that it's so small. I really like these small cars too because they're nice for if you're getting them for yourself or your kids. You don't have tons of storage issues but just love that you can come out here and really enjoy a good time if the wind is blowing. As you know, here on Brian Phillips RC, we predominantly do radio controlled aircraft. Now there's a stump coming up. Let's see how it handles the stump. Oh yeah, it does it. It's like it didn't even know it was there, guys. Most radio controlled cars would have high centered there and this would have been an end of story. So this thing is supposed to run for 30 minutes. Now, full disclosure, we did our unbox build and radio setup, which doesn't account for much in terms of radio setup here. Ooh, let's check out this bark here that fell off of this tree. See that big chunk of bark? Let's bring it around and see what we can do with that. Amazing, no problem. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to give it a little speed to get over. Oh no, oh no, we've been high centered for the first time. And that's cupping of a bark. That is pretty amazing actually still. Haven't gotten stuck to where I have to go down and pick it up yet. Okay, so let's, let's drive, let's do the nature walk time with Brian Phillips RC as we usually do with like quads. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can take this all the way up. Oh, hold on, there's a frog. See the frog? Where? Okay, I'm gonna drive around and find oh, it. Let's it. go find the frog. What's up frog? What's up frog? How you doing buddy? You guys see it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so what we're gonna do, oh, rock crawling, look at this. It's like a little place to showcase your rock crawler. Amazing. So as you know, these 1 18th rock crawlers are super nice because you can do them inside if it's rainy or you can do them outside if it's gorgeous. And when it's windy and you wanna be, you know, in the air, but you can't be, they work really nice for that. Oh yes, loving it. I think what we need to do is keep driving. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go over here to the clearing. As you can see, it's definitely not fast. So if you're looking for speed, this would definitely not be the best choice. And it does get bogged down when you get into some super tall grass, but you can usually get it moving again. 
and then just find a different path. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep walking a little bit further here, nature walk time. So obviously, when you got a lot of room, then you can find a lot of different places to drive. But just because you have a lot of places to drive doesn't mean there's not huge, gigantic weeds blocking it. So in our case, we've been doing a little bit of dirt work up there. We've actually filmed down in this spot, but this is what happens to the same spot where we actually filmed the, the glacier. glacier, which was also by FMS, if I recall. Mm -hmm. Or no, it wasn't by FMS. No, that's Easy RC. Easy RC. Mm -hmm. So we love this thing. We love that thing too. Real rubber tires. By the way, don't put that on painted surfaces. It will mark your painted surfaces if you do. So we're gonna go to a, a place where we're doing some dirt work. I think that'd be a great place. All right, so this is actually not where I was intending to go, but we're gonna be here on the way. So let's try this. This is a spot that I meticulously try to mow and it's always terrible because I can't mow it. Let's see how the rock crawler does. That is some steep stuff right there. I don't think it's gonna be able to make it. Need a little more speed. Oh, that low spot was killing me. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I think I got caught in the actual grass. grass. Look at that. It twisted up the axles. Okay, so this is super dirty here. Let's see if we can do the dirt right in this general area and see if we can crawl up this area. I may have to get the weed whacker out. Okay, let's see how this does. This is some legit off-road, guys. Oh boy, don't tip over. Oh no, everybody died. <laughs> oh geez. Okay, this is probably a little bit too rough. So just to give you an idea, guys, that's our culvert that goes under our driveway. So if you come around here, we've got some dirt work we've been doing. And look, we have little rock paths right here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should try that. Let's try downhill this time. You set camera crew? Yep. All right, here we go. So over the tall grass, and then down the rocks. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna, oh no, oh no, have we crashed? We're gonna have to renegotiate. That is just so cool and so much fun. I think somebody needs to weed rack if we're gonna do this here. Mm -hmm. Cause you guys see what's going on? Oh, oh no. Can you flip it back over? Can you, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and back up. Can you flip me around there, camera crew? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go back uphill. Oh, see almost... what's going on, guys? If you don't have your grass cut, it's, it's not gonna work grass. very good. Yeah. If the... the grass is super, super thick like this, it just wants to stall your vehicle out. Yep. Can I give you a little yes. bit of a boost? Okay, so now that I'm on the rocks, this would be like driving through trees, though, guys. Yeah. That is so cool. The suspension really works pretty good. But then let's go over here where there's some legit dirt work. I don't know if this is gonna be a better option, but you can show the people what we've got going on here. <laughs> so this is a, a little waterway that we're kind of working on right now. AKA, it used to be a waterway where the mosquitoes like to breed and yeah. live and destroy our peace of mind. So we're gonna drive down there in that. So this will be a perfect spot. You guys may have seen it in the backdrop of our road flying but let's just do it right now. Okay, this is a legit, hey, do you wanna go downhill? Do you want me to go down there first? Yes, yes, let's do that. Okay, so the camera crew is gonna try to get all the way down the hill. Oh yeah. Ooh, okay. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, this, that is so capable. There are not a lot of little cars that would do that without getting slipped down the hill. I feel like it does way better in the dirt. The grass is like slick because of the humidity. Yeah, I think so. Look at that rock. Watch this. I'm gonna go right over it. Oh yeah, buddy. Yep. That is so sweet. I'm gonna see if I can get up this hill. I think I can, but you really have to pick your path carefully because the grass is a killer on this. Oh, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Hey, hon, grab that rock and put it in the back, will you? Like. Will you load that rock into mm -hmm. my back? No, the one I was using, hon. The one I drove over. Oh, this that one? one? Yeah, put that, Ooh. will it fit? All yeah. right, guys, Kay. cheater challenge. Here we go. We're gonna put a little load in there, <laughs> get a little extra gravity on our side. A little bit of weight might help. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh, come on, you can do it. Okay, now, okay, we're digging a hole, so we're gonna try to jackknife this thing. 
Let's see if we can make a slight angle change. Yes. No, everybody oh. died. Oh no. Okay, we'll just drive downhill then. You want to leave your no, nah, you weight? can take out the rock. Okay. Do you want to put some smaller rocks in there? That's what I'm wondering if that's just, that's a pretty big rock. That is kind of a big rock. So guys, if you weren't familiar already, when you need some extra traction in a truck, especially a six by six, the best thing you can do is literally throw a giant rock in there. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Should I get it muddy for the people? I feel like we're in the wasteland now. No. Which is, which is kind of what we want here because a wasteland means no water. Can you cross? Oh yeah. There. If I'm careful, I'm gonna have to try to go straight on. All right, we're at the bottoms, the river bottoms. Oh, come on, don't let me down. Yes! There it goes. We made it. So cool. So I don't know, I'm kind of thinking that I thought the grass would be kind of helpful for this, but I'm glad we actually drove it out here mm -hmm. and figured this out because this is awesome with this little rock crawler. So if you guys have a place, oh yeah, going through legit mud. So cool. This thing is really capable. Okay, my turn. Oh, you want to try it now? Oh. Dang it, everybody died. Okay, camera crew's gonna try it. Okay. And funny little secret, you guys haven't seen the unbox part yet. Oh, look, there's another little guy. There's another little guy. Boop, there he goes. I should have put that passenger in there. Give him a ride. The camera crew is trying. So what do you think of driving these little off-road vehicles? I like driving. Oh, you hit a stick. It's like a tree. Okay. You got it. It's like a real it tree. Is. If that was me in a tractor, <laughs> I would have just driven over it yep, and destroyed would've. it. And then I would have had to come help you get That's what I did unstuck. down there. Whoops. So cool. All right. You got to drive like you're actually driving a machine down a hill. That's why it's so much fun. Well, I think there's a reason that I don't do that. Right. Oh. So cool. That is pretty cool. This is a little easier than flying for me. So the 118th scale definitely gives you more environmental concerns. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are kind of trying to decide between this and a bigger product, there's obviously a huge cost component difference. But back in the day, when I was first kind of getting into my most, my first hobby grade RC experience, I had what was called the RC-10. Oh no, a tree. And, and my brother had the RC-10T, and this is years ago. And I loved it, it was so much fun. And you could go like as fast as a real car. Granted, <laughs> that car would have to have been a really slow car. But, but nowadays, the cars are going extremely fast. And I feel like these are a good entry point maybe for kids that are wanting to learn because they're not overwhelmingly fast. Right. And you can actually kind of like do something with them. You don't just have to have like a big straightaway to go mm -hmm. Super as fast. fast as you can. Well, and going fast is fun. But going fast means you're going to cause destruction. Mm -hmm. And not just in terms of your vehicles, you can actually get hurt too. That's one nice thing about the smaller vehicles. See if you can back up and get it. Mm, it's so close. You're, you are really close. I didn't get it up there. You guys see this? This is a pretty good amount of grade. I'm gonna call that a 35% grade. I mean, that is like full. Crank it to the left, see if you can get it. Oh yeah, you got it back and forth. Oh, Don't oh, tip oh, over. I Don't know. let everybody die. Whoa, the camera crew has escaped. I did it. Amazing. Well, this horror story is not going to be very exciting now. <laughs> she just got on the road and drove home. So here's full speed. <laughs> not very fast. Might take you a little while to get there. Do you want to drive again? Yeah, I do. Back? Okay. Okay, so now that I'm driving again, I wanted to bring you down into this area where I've been doing the dirt work. Oh, okay. This has actually been done for a little bit. Mm -hmm. But let's just, uh, let's show them some on-road action just so they can see kind of what it looks like. I like this thing 
because small means that I can have more of them <laughs> and I can still get more of them because there's still uh, room to store all of them. Yeah. Because airplanes are big and as you guys know, you eventually run out of room. And so you have to make this daunting decision of like, which plane do I want to either give up or which plane is worth storing and which ones you have to try to sell off or give away or whatever. And it's like, with cars are just take up so much less room. I don't think we're going to run into that problem as quick. Okay, I'm going to try to go down this rut here. This is a rut from a real tire on a real tractor. Oh yes, that's doing so good. Guys, look at this. I can stop on the hill and it doesn't slip down. Mm -hmm. That is so amazing. I'm loving it. Wow. So cool. Okay. All right, let's go over now here. Now I have to go down there. Okay, now we're going into the treads. Uh, you should be able to walk down the sides. Just don't fall. You gotta <laughs> no. go kind of quick. I'll wait for you. Okay, so now we're gonna go into some legit mud here, I think. But this is clay mostly. Ooh, caught on something. On a root. Is that what it was? Yep. Oh, it high centered me. Oh no, I'm gonna get off of there. How am I caught? I can't tell quite how it's catching me. There it goes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Guys, six wheel drive is legit. If this was not six wheel drive, there is no way you would have made it through that. And you know, it's funny because we've had a lot of cars. There are cars that would drive up and down this because they're just bigger. But this thing does amazing for being a 118th scale. Look at the legit tire tracks, guys. That's from a 60 horse tractor, weighs 9,000 pounds, makes these big ruts, okay? Look at this, I'm gonna just traverse over here. I'm gonna go legit into the legit mud. I'm gonna take this jackknife over here and double back into the mud bottoms, okay? Oh yeah, I don't wanna get totally stuck and bogged down, but I do wanna show you that it'll drive in the mud. Oh, that is so cool. Just juicy enough to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Gotta love it, folks. So if you guys are new to the hobby, meaning you haven't had a radio controlled car for long, and it's just you know something that is in your heart and you wanna try it, this is definitely not a bad place to start. Ready to run is where it's at if you don't have anything to get started. That just means it comes with everything that you're gonna need in the package. I definitely do think that ready to run is a great way to introduce people as a gift. So if you're thinking about Christmas already, and uh, you know, like most men out there are probably not thinking about Christmas yet, but yep. your wives probably Several are. Several months. So it's literally months and months and months away, but they're racking their brains saying, how can I make my family's life wonderful? Uh, while, you know, this would be a good way to start. Look how sweet that thing is. And by the way, if you're thinking about range on your receiver and transmitter, this transmitter and receiver is in a 2.4 gigahertz range, but I don't know exactly what the protocol is. I would assume that it's proprietary to FMS, but I do not know. Um, so I apologize, I'm not familiar with that. All I can say is I haven't had a single peep of problems and we have been admittedly fairly close this whole time. So I think really what we've established is that this thing will really do some serious off-roading. Where does it struggle? probably in grass that's about six to eight inches tall or wet. That being said, you can really cover some legitimate off-road terrains provided you don't have trees. Like this would be like driving over a tree in the, in the wild. You're not gonna be able to drive over a tree even in a six by six. You have to really work at it to get over this because these rough spots are the spots that separate the babies from men. And that's why I'm getting stuck. Let's see if I can do this. I really want to go through these weeds here. They're probably some sort of a like toxic, noxious weed that will like cause me to die immediately or break out in hives for three or four weeks. So I was going to see if my wife would pick it up and move, <laughs> and move it. it. You're gonna go, over <laughs> go over the top. I want to see if I can exit this spot here. Show them the spot. Um, so you want to go up so right I wanna here. Try to, I want to try to go right here. This is gonna be kind of a bad exit. So let's see if we can handle it. That's a pretty okay. long ways up too. So we cheated on the first big tree. Let's see if you can get over that little bit of grass. Oh yeah, there. no problem. I'm just gonna go full, full bore and just kind of wiggle. Nope, not there. I gotta rethink. Oh, it's so cool watching it dig in. Do you see that? I feel like it's just a tiny bit too light. 
You know what? Do we have one of those I'm rocks close by? I'm looking for a rock that's appropriately sized. But I'm loving the fact that you can back out of a mess if you if you get into a spot where it's like maybe not appropriate. Oh, come on. You can do it, buddy. You can do it, buddy. You're so little, close. Yeah, give me the rock. A bit of yeah, try that. Is that enough? Yes! There you go. So cool. Who would have thought? Amazing, guys. That is so awesome. And just getting back on the road, we've got our payload in the back. So yeah, I would say, guys, at the end of the day, this is one very cool little truck, six by six. And yes, I would definitely highly recommend this. It is fun to drive. It is fun. It is beautiful. It looks amazing, no less. I would say this thing is definitely a display piece. And look at, even with the dirt and stuff, I think it looks cooler know, cool that now. way. <laughs> like with the mud on the tires and everything. I'm going to have to drive it around just to knock the mud off. And the lights and everything just looks mm -hmm. so proper on this. And as all that mud dries, it's going to be super cool to watch it stay stained with those stain marks. So anyway, guys, when you're ready to buy a fun, ready-to-run 6x6, look no further than this little Atlas by FMS. Check it out in the video description below. You can buy your very own, help support our channel. The way that works is you buy from the link. They send us small commissions. If you like this particular Atlas, we've reviewed tons of other products. Cars are just one part of what we do here on Brian Phillips RC. But one way you can support us and give us a, a thank you for putting together a video or whatever it is that we helped you out with uh, would be to buy the equipment from the links in the video description below. By the way, the motor is pretty hot. So if you're wanting to do that, just uh, look in the description there. Also, you can go to brianphillipsrc.com and you can see laid out all these different products in a more organized fashion so you can make a decision on what you're interested in. And we're gonna help you decide between items more often than not is what people are doing, I think, on our channel. And then also how to set things up. Now with cars, it's pretty easy. You pretty much put the batteries in, you charge your batteries, you're ready to go. With airplanes, not so much. There's a lot more setup. With helicopters, not so much, a lot more setup. And that's really what we strive to bring you guys most of the time. But we love cars and trucks too. And we also love all things aviation. So if you guys are seeing a car, don't worry. We haven't forgotten about airplanes. We still love them. But the thing is, we also like these things too. They are super fun and they're getting so dang good. I mean, these things are amazing compared to what we had as kids. And as I've said before on this video um, or that video, if I could have had these things as a kid, I would have killed for them because they are so good. But that being said, if you want to help support the channel, just buy the stuff from the links, click the bell for notifications, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Camera crew is going to unbox and build this thing for you right away. YouTube, it's Megan Phillips. Usually I am on that side of the camera, but we're going to do a little experiment today. And I am over here and Brian is going to be the camera crew. And the only rule I gave him was that he isn't allowed to have snarky commentary. That's just all up I for me. I broke the rule. Oh, shoot. So today we, I am going to unbox something that's a little bit more my speed. We all know that Brian's passion and expertise is in aviation and that's not going away anytime soon. But this is something that I feel a little bit more confident sharing with you. So I'm going to do the unboxing today. And today we have not an airplane. Ooh, look at that. This Fancy. is an FMS Atlas 6x6. Six six. In red. In red. Also comes in blue. Ours is the red version. So we are going to take a look at this today and I'm going to tell you what I think about it. That's what I normally see. Yes. See? So, all right. First thing I noticed is it comes in a nice foam case. Cars are one of those things that you actually could pack back up in store. Unlike most of the other things that are currently sitting around in my kitchen slash living room slash family room. And we'll see if I can get this out of here. See, it's not as easy as it it's looks. It's not as easy as it looks. I don't like want to break a nail. things. That would be. Are you cutting it open? I'm going to. It's glued back here on the back, so I'm going to cut this open. So this is a 1 18th scale crawler. I don't think that it's actually, it's not like a licensed product. I'm going to open this up. All right, so comes in nice case. You can see the red indicator on there. 
and then you can see what the blue one looks like if you were going to pick the blue color as well. Super cool. Yes. This will look cool so out in our front yard. So this is a crawler, yard. right? Yes. I believe it's a two-speed crawler. And so what's the difference between a crawler and a regular radio-controlled car? Crawlers are slower and they're geared for more oh adventure goodness. type of... Okay, so we that have... Oh no, so a folded cool. manual. We hate folded manuals. We do. Manual, there's a screwdriver in there and a little like wheel wrench. If you're a controller, don't look in the box. <laughs> it's in pieces. Oh, I have to put the controller together. Okay. Extra let's... paperwork. Okay. So should I just throw this? Whoa, it comes with... That. Don't throw that away. You can make it hard. Oh, well... Sometimes that takes a little extra work. All right, so then this is gonna come, this is ready to run, so it's gonna come, come with everything you need, except for probably some double or triple A batteries. Okay. So we're gonna have a controller that we are going to assemble. Okay. okay. How did you do that? Then in here, there's a little release on the back. Oh, fancy. Yep. And then the two and pieces contacts, slide together. Right contacts. And cool. actually it looks like the That's our battery the spot. So it's like a magazine. Yep. From a not G U N. Does that mean you get to get the batteries instead of me? I don't know. Oh. It looks like there might be double A's there or triple be, A's. They might yeah. be triple A's. Be triple A's. Just throw that anywhere. I'm breaking. Okay, so we won't assemble that yet for a second until we get our batteries that we're going to need to put in there. So we'll get batteries and put those in the controller in a second. Then we also have our standard. USB charger. This is going to be for a 2S battery. And I'm not seeing a battery yet, so it must be under or in or in the crawler. So let's take this out of here. Does it come with a is. battery? It should come with a battery. I'm hoping there's a battery in there. Is it ready Here's to run? It is. It says ready to run. Where does it say? Yep, right there. Ready to run red. R RTR. So we will do run. some investigating here in just a second. First thing I noticed that Brian's going to like, squishy tires. Has an extra spare back here on the back. That is nice. Those are super Those soft. Those are super soft. They do not have any sort of like foam inserts or anything, I don't Looks believe. Like it's a suspension. Yep. So let's pop the hood open here. Yep, and there's the battery. Seen... Right there. So how do we get it out? It's rubber banded rubber in. Rubber banded on there. These rubber bands come off to the side, it looks like. Oh, it's just clipped. It's just clipped yeah, in you there. you can unclip the rubber bands. Yep, so it comes with one 2S 600 milliamp hour battery, so. Yep, it's a LiPo with a standard Hextronix plug, mm -hmm. and then a uh, low, I call them low C, but they're actually called something different. Connectors, so let's get this charging before we start looking more at the truck. So you are gonna need to provide your own adapter wall adapter to usb so we have a whole basket and of these batteries and batteries for this so let's grab a wall adapter we typically in our basket of goodies we'll use something like this this comes from a wise cam and so you're going to need to provide this so we'll plug our usb into here always the wrong way first and then we'll plug this into our wall outlet that's a pretty special wall out right there. Yep, it is. It's our best one in our house. Solid. Little red light. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug the battery into the charger. You can only do this one way. These little batteries are keyed if you're not familiar with them. And then you can see they're on. Show them plugging it in. So then it's only gonna plug in one way. And then this light and then turned we have a flashing, flashing yellow. Light, okay. Oh, also, we normally would have an option to charge with something like this. Mm -hmm. This is a 2S, so this will not work. But if you have a breakout board or a balance board, something similar to this, like I've built in the past. Yep. See this, camera crew? We can actually use these to charge yes. with a more robust charger, charger like this. So if you're interested in that, just let us know. We have that mm -hmm. stuff in the links in the video description below. Yep. As sure we do. will with the battery and the and the truck. Yep, and the truck itself too. So let's pause well, and we'll grab actually batteries. <coughs> excuse me. Let's check the voltage. We never did check the voltage. Oh, okay. We'll just use this one here. 
We could use this, or we could use the XPC battery checker, which is this. This thing is pretty awesome. Okay, so camera crew is unplugging. Which one do you want to use? Um, use both. Show the people how this works. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah. So there's a negative terminal on these, and we've marked it with a marker, which mm -hmm. is kind of lame, but it is actually it marked right there, negative. Okay. You can do up to 8S on these. Okay. So there's nine pins, so the first of which is ground, and so what you do is you look at this battery and you say, okay, which one's black or the most black, and then you slide that in there. Okay. And it will beep. So right now it says two cells. And it doesn't look like it does on camera. No. It's just the way that it films because of the LEDs. Refresh, so right? 3.82 and 3.8 was the second cell. Mm -hmm. And what so do we want? Pretty good for storage voltage. We would want 4.2 to be fully charged. That's right. And then basically if we look at the XBC battery checker, kind of the same thing. You need to know which side's negative or you look at the pins, there's a couple of pin points. And if you look at this, there's little tabs On to allow that to slide in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it'd slide in this way. And then we have, yeah, so pretty close, 3.80 and 3.79 on that yeah. second cell. Which this thing is an invaluable tool and you yes. can do servo testing and all sorts of stuff. Definitely so we'll one thing you wanna have in your, in your toolbox. Yes. So we are at pretty good storage voltage here, which is good for shipping them. So we'll get this plugged back in and let that charge while we're looking at the truck a little bit more. Okay. And then also you wanted to pause so we could get some batteries. Yeah, let's get some batteries in here. You so do have to provide your together. own batteries, but it, I can't tell what they are. Can you tell? We might have to actually open up and look at the manual because I can't, it looks like they might be stacked double or triple A's. Does it Jeez, say? This thing runs up to 30 minutes. Wow, on a 2S, wow. That's crazy. This is not a Ziploc bag. And it's 104 to one transmission that's nutty so, so that means there's our hard springs so if you're currently soft and you want to <laughs> get hard you can replace those you can just switch grab the sack it's got a little wheel wrench and it's plastic though bind plug it is plastic oh, and then our typical teeny tiny chinese screwdriver won't focus sorry yeah, that's really small. I wonder what we need that for. By the way, you don't have to open it like this. That was just the way the camera crew did it. It's just the way I did it. That, that was supposed to slide out. Install the batteries. It needs triple A's. Triple so A's. we will stop and grab some triple A's and then we will put them in the transmitter and be right back. All right, so we grabbed four triple A batteries and the little marker is on the inside of the that's transmitter. Right here. It's in this weird spot. It is kind of awkward to tell how the batteries there go in. So the positive is gonna go up on your right. Mm -hmm. And well, now you've turned it. Yes. And then it's gonna go down on the other side. And if you look at the inside of the, yep, that was right. Then this little piece is going to snap in. But that doesn't and tell down. you and confirm anything at all now. It does, cause it's on here too. This shows the direction mm -hmm. pretty easy. Yep, and then there's a plus and minus on the outside of that. So then that snaps into there, into yeah. the handle. And then that loads onto the handle. And then this loads onto the... Okay, so it's a pretty plug. straightforward operation, it's just something we're not used to seeing. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit different. That is strange. Okay, so then there's your completed okay. trigger. Turn it around. Okay. Okay. So you can definitely, I can reach out with my thumb, try doing that so you can drive it, turn it so we can see your thumb. Okay, so this way. So you can yep. reach it with your thumb? Mm -hmm. Okay. I can. All right. All right, so, so let's what's next? Look. Now we need to put a battery in here to energize the thing. Yep. And also, we wanna actually look underneath and see things. Do you wanna look for a second and I'll film? I love that these are ball joints here, mm -hmm. so they don't bind up. See how free everything is? Yep. Both sides rock. The whole thing kind of bounces. This has struts in it. It's got a dampening strut, which is pretty cool. Whereas these are just springs, spring. Oop, nope, that's got a strut too. Strut, 
That's just a spring, that's just a spring, that's a strut, that's a strut. See the difference? Spring, strut. Strut dampens the movement, springs just bounce back. And there's little teeny struts in there, which is super cool, but a great deal of your shock absorption is gonna come from the tires. And they let air out, they let air out intentionally. But look at that, there's two differentials. There's a differential here and here and here. So there's actually three different differentials. Very cool. And a brushless motor, excuse me, a brushed motor rather. But it looks really nice. Cool. Do we wanna check, pull that battery and we can see if everything is bound up and ready to go? <clears throat> we can just find another battery. Okay. We'll check and come right back. All right guys, we're back. And we wanted to talk about this. So this thing was charging and it was doing just fine. But we were in a hurry. So we put it on here and we charged super fast using a couple of adapters. We charged it 3C. So we had it set for uh, 1.8 amp hours. So it's pretty speedy, but now it's done. And our voltage are at 4.2. Sorry, I'm making an appearance in your video <laughs> camera crew. So we'll just unplug that. And then I'm gonna let the camera crew take back okay, over. Okay, perfect. So we are gonna go install this battery. And while we were waiting for that to charge, we noticed a couple of things that I wanted to point out on this truck that I like. First of all, this has a magnetic closure here, and then it hinges open. So it just closes easily. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be super flimsy. I kind of wish it opened a little bit further for easier access to the battery installation or if you ever needed to get up here to the ESC. And then also on the bottom, you can see here, it has a one kilogram waterproof servo on the bottom. If you can see that. Try to get the focus here. Yeah, I know. It's, it's got a, tricky. it's a waterproof servo. Mm -hmm. Also, this thing is a 20 amp ESC, which is nice. Yes. And you can, you can use a uh, nickel uh, metal hydrate batteries mm -hmm. you just have to switch that pin this jumper right here can be switched to the other position i'm gonna try to turn the light on for you see how that's actually a jumper right there that i just pulled back you can flip that over one set of pins and that goes to the uh nime setting as opposed to the lipo setting mm -hmm. so if you decide you want to do that then that's fine and that gets you a little bit i think it's just a little bit more stable chemical behavior on the battery on that type of battery yeah and then there's also a toolbox on the back that does open so you could put something in there if you wanted to it doesn't open super far but it comes see, off all together comes off so i guess if you wanted to keep your extra or your little spare parts your hard springs would probably fit in there i wonder if the hard springs would that's actually kind of a good idea except then they'll lose them i know if you took them out of the bag they would fit and in just there. so you guys know this has a total of it looks like four springs Four springs. no it's got six i was going to say why would they only give you four but ours look like there's six in there yep so that's pretty sweet so that's cool and then this is actually a spare tire if a for some reason you needed a functional spare tire yeah. that one is there as well so let's plug oh this by the way in. these yep. these are branded tires i believe the Terrazzo. Terrazzo. Terrazzo tires. Squish. They are very squishy. So good. These are actual rubber tires, so I would be careful setting it on like a painted surface. You mean like over here? <clears throat> Ask me how I know. You mean like right here? <laughs> we still have tire tread Where marks. someone parked their glacier truck yes. for a while. Which is an awesome truck too, by it the way. It is an awesome truck. That is a cool truck. So, all right, let's get this thing plugged in and see what happens. Oh, wait, is your yes. transmitter on? Nope. I don't know if it's this critical on a car, but we'll turn it okay, on. Okay, so we'll turn that on, blue light comes on, and then I wanna make sure I'm going in the right you need the you direction. Need that one. Yep. And I'm gonna do my red to my red, and my white to my black. Which but they are keyed. Yes, it is. Oh, there's forward and rear facing lights on this too, which mm -hmm. is so cool. Okay. Is it on? And then there is, let me get my battery in here. And I wouldn't probably these. get it all strapped in just yep. quite yet. Okay. Let's make sure. There's a little rocker switch oh, wait. in here, right there where yeah. my thumb is. But you have to really, it's kind of weird to tell which direction's on and off. Ooh, can I do that then? Mm -hmm. I should have practiced while we were off. Oh, oh there it goes. Yeah, there, lights. got it. 
Cool. Sweet. Those are bright too. Those are bright. Here, turn the tail cool. so I can look at it. And then we have tail lights as well. Okay, now hold on. Does it break? Oh, it doesn't change the condition of the light. It does not change. But I love that they're- They're really bright. They're super white mm -hmm. and they're not like fakey 5K. They're like 2.7K. Yeah. Yep. And then back here, the red is an actual red LED that shines through instead of just having a lens cover. Yeah. Which is nice because I think it looks sweet that way. Yeah, I like that. All right, so I'm just gonna pull these rubber band straps up. Oh yeah, show the people here. how we do that. Since it's a crawler. Mm -hmm. Just to keep our battery in place. So that's pretty simple. One on and each then, side. And you can actually hold down the leads that way if you want to. Yeah, that's what I was gonna try and do here. Very nice. So that's pretty simple. Pretty simple, straightforward. And then that just snaps back down on there. So. Okay, remember, we don't know how fast this thing is yet. <laughs> okay. I would assume it's probably not insanely fast because it's got that huge gear ratio. Cool. Show them a little bit of reverse too. That is so cool. Amazing. That's cool. See how slow you can go. Like do it as slow as you can do it. That is so slow. That's about as slow as I can go. So hopefully I'm seeing the details that you guys want to see. I love the wipers. Should we turn around and see? How's it? Oh, the diff is working good. It's not hopping. Yeah, it's really smooth, actually. The, whatever jerkiness you're seeing is probably more my driving than, than the truck. That's so That's cool. full speed. Cool. I like all the details. I really like the headlights. Okay, hon, you know what's next. All right. We gotta go find something to drive over. Not my bananas though. Oh, you're gonna drive. That's what's yes, next. Yes, bananas. <laughs> See guys, I was here the whole time. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. Trust me. I love that you can go super slow. There is a little bit of slip on the middle, the middle axle. Look how slow you can do that, guys. That is awesome. Watch the deflection of the tire. Oops, I'll go way slower this time. I love that you can see the tires change shape as they go over. Let's see what happens when you run into a wall like my arm. <laughs> Ooh, there's enough power to get up on top of it. Oh, Let's wow. flip it. Well, that's pretty good. Ooh. <laughs> see if it'll go back. Okay, so going backward, I wonder if I can flip it over. Probably not that way. So it doesn't look like you're gonna be able to flip itself back over. That's fine. You can definitely hear an appreciable noise when you have the ESC running. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do the banana test. You gotta do a banana test. Cause obviously bananas are one of the That's best tests. The best, the best analog. You're gonna run over all the bananas? Yeah, not just a few. Okay. I'm running over the whole well, batch of them. That's for your lunch. So that's I guess right. that's on you then. I will gladly sacrifice a beautiful yellow banana for your viewing pleasure. Sounds terrible. <laughs> I don't think. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get it to rock up over. Oh no! I high center. Oh, Dang no. it! So. I hate when I high center my banana. Oh wait! 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 You're so close though, I think. I feel like I could do it if I had the bananas in a different angle. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm not actually stuck yet, which is pretty amazing. I just love that it's so realistic looking. It's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, buy this from the link. I'm gonna let the camera crew do this because <laughs> this is her thing now, I okay. guess. All right, 
So if this truck is something or this crawler that's something that's interesting to you, check out our link in the video description below. You can buy this and that helps to support our channel, which also helps to support our family. We earn small commissions from the companies that we work with. The other thing that you can do is if you liked this video, give us a like, subscribe. We have tons of new content. Most of it is not gonna be cars or me, so you can come back and stay tuned for airplanes and all things aviation. But right now I think we're gonna go outside and test this outside and see how it will do out in not banana land. So we appreciate you staying with us and stay tuned and come back for more. Thanks for watching.